doing today? Great, Sagan, great, how are you doing? Great, you? I, I, I'm doing well. It's so nice to see you guys in, you know, 2022 at IR. <laughs> <laughs> you nice look to be absolutely in. awesome. Now, I was just asking you this before, but I'm going to ask you, how does it feel to know, because you should know this if you don't, that you just like you're sitting on a gold mine like this is going to be the next big thing this show is a hit i'm telling you oh, well number one yeah. thank you for saying that yeah, um you. from your lips to god's ears no. we really hope that we honored octavia e butler that we did her words justice yeah. mm -hmm. brandon jacob jenkins we know that he wrote he wrote this thing to the t so we're excited about pr presenting this and mm -hmm. And hopefully the world will enjoy yeah. it. No, not hopefully, they will. Thank I'm you. Like, yes. I was just telling you guys before, like, it's so great for me being here, meeting the whole cast, meeting Brandon. But I also can't wait to get home and just so I can keep watching. Just to watch. <laughs> it's so good. Oh it's God. so Thank good. You. And I'm so excited for you. And the fact that it's such a diverse cast and the fact that, you know, more of, no, more, more people. I'm sorry. I can't help yes, but be excited. Of like, yeah. We're getting an opportunity to shine and, and, and be in this huge production. Now, what I think is so interesting about this show is just the emotions that it's going to elicit in the audience. Mm -hmm. And I feel like it's something that everybody can relate to. We all fantasize about time traveling. Yeah. But what would you do if you found yourself in the 1800s? Because I feel like back then, you didn't have a choice as to who you are. You were in one box or another. Yeah. So what was it like for you guys playing those characters, especially your character, Shire, because your character is sort of transported there and left there. That sounds like a nightmare for most yeah. of us, to be honest. Yeah, right? yeah. I mean, so, I, th yeah. I think American slavery is a nightmare. Yeah. Yeah. I think for a lot of for a lot of African people who were brought here, yeah. it's, it's, the, it's the exact same thing. Um, it was a really, it was a joy to to play uh, Olivia yeah. and um, and I think with Dana this this sort of going back in time yeah. and and getting the thing that you wanted the most uh, and never thought that you'd ever have mm -hmm. so with Dana reuniting with her with mom, her mom yeah. with me reuniting with my child yeah uh, that experience uh, having the grief of losing a child mm -hmm. of losing a life of losing my freedom of being transported from the life that I thought that I knew to now um, meeting Dana it's it's been an extraordinary yeah. experience and journey for and, sure mm -hmm. and, and so this is a question for all three of you you know obviously as African Americans yeah. playing this role, did it make you sort of feel like you reconciled with the past of this country? Or do you feel like it made you more understanding of the times? Or did it open your eyes more? Did it make you more bitter? I just, I don't know how I would feel if I got a chance to sort of like even just play a role where you got to see firsthand kind of what it was like mm -hmm. back then. Mm -hmm. What did it do to you? It's different. It was yeah. different every single day, just yeah. as it is different every single day as a black American. Yeah. There are days you wake up and you're like, I am angry mm -hmm. yeah you know and then there are days where you wake up and you're like I have hope yeah. mm -hmm. you know and and you run the gamut between so many different full-bodied emotions in in embodying these people in telling this story you do feel as though you are called to a different level of service mm -hmm. because it is still unimaginable and unimaginable mm -hmm. to me to have actually gone through what our ancestors yeah. went through. I mean, yeah. I, we literally, I say that word in the literal sense because we cannot imagine mm -hmm. the depth of cruelty. No. Even in preparation for a role, it doesn't matter how many books, how many resources, it was so deeply cruel and yeah. dehumanizing. Yeah. Wow. And so it, it, it just, it ran the full gamut yeah. of emotion. I know mm -hmm. for me, I yeah. think for you guys too. Yeah, you yeah. Do. yeah, yeah. For you, you, what was you, it? you, you, you start to carry it in your body. Yeah. You know what I mean. After a while, after a while, once I put my costume on and I stepped onto the set, it was like the job was done because the the weight, the sadness, mm. the the hopelessness, just it became automatic. Oh yeah. And that is, I think that's the effect of this story that Octavia has told, and mm -hmm. you know she says. You know what is scary is how easy it is to accept a system of slavery yeah. and so I think just as an actor the fact that that relationship and that power dynamic became so second hand to me while we were shooting is a testament to that yeah. and, and how automatic that just that 
that depth of sadness can be. Um, and so you, you, you try and take care of yourself as best you can, yeah. but you also don't want to shortchange the, the magnitude of, of the experience of these people. Yeah, and honestly, Sharia, I'll be honest with you, your character touched me the most because we all fantasize about time travel, right? Yeah. But usually, and I'm, I, I know, I, I know I'm not the only one as a black person who thinks like this. You're like, oh, where would I go? If I could go back in time, where would I go? And it's like, nope. Yep. Nope. Yeah. Nope. Yeah. Nope. Yeah. Listen, maybe eighties if I'm pushing. <laughs> right. 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 Literally. Because it's right. like, when yeah. else would we go back? And even I'm 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 Kenyan, right? Mm -hmm. I'm born and raised in Kenya. I think back, what when would I really want to go back to? Yeah. Because I'm either going back to colonialism yep. Yep. or I'm going back to a time where I was living in this super patriarchal society yeah. and Lord only, you know, so I just, I'm like, going back in time isn't a fun concept for us. Mm -hmm. no. But for your character to be yanked from your life and then be dumped in that time period, like the worst possible, like, oh my God, what does that do to you playing that role? Because I can feel the frustration to go from living in 1992, or was it 93? to go back to living in Master's house where mm. he feels like he can smack you around, do whatever to you, deal with his, oh my God, what did that do to you? Um, it's a testament to the yeah. resiliency of the human spirit. Yeah. When I think about Olivia, I think about every black woman that I've ever known, my grandmother, my mother, my great grandmother, my aunts, all yeah. of these women who, who fought to have better, yeah. who fought for their survival, who fought to be. Um, Olivia is is doing that. She is so mercurial and resourceful to ma maintain her freedom, um, to establish a new identity. So I I felt really honored to play a black woman yeah. because because if it, it, it really felt like today, mm -hmm. what is the need? The need is to survive. I need to be here. I need to survive. I need to see how to maneuver yeah. in this world, mm -hmm. yeah. in this patriarchal mm -hmm. society, yeah. in this yes. slavery. You know, you just how to do it. And we yeah. do it daily. Now, oh my God, I, I could sit down with you guys all day mm -hmm. asking you a meal because it, it feels like you guys really have time traveled to that time period. Mm. And so I'm wondering, did it open your eyes in any way as to the other side's version of things? Because obviously from where we're standing, we're always, when you think back to those times, it's like white, bad, black, you know, obviously we're the victims and ah. But did it make you sort of like feel differently towards white people living in that time? Because mm. really when you were, if you were alive at those times, you didn't choose to be who you yeah. are and society placed you in a strict category in a strict box so did you come out of it with any different sort of um, outlook as to the white experience back then uh, did you learn anything new or mm -hmm. you know did you think that because yeah I think the I think the thing for me is that nobody wins in yeah. this scenario mm -hmm. whether you are the enslaved or you're the enslaver yes. your humanity is compromised yeah no matter what That's and true. i think the sort of charade or the fantasy or the delusion of white supremacy mm -hmm. is that uh your whiteness absolves you of that or that there is um that like you said that that the boxes are actually that simple that white is bad black yeah. white is good black is bad and that's it but i think what this showed me is that white supremacy american slavery no one wins. No one. Even yeah. if you are in a power position, mm -hmm. your morality, your humanity is compromised. That is so deep. And and um, and yeah, I, I, it's it's sad that I feel like there isn't a more sort of global, you know, mm -hmm. recognition of that fact. Yeah. Um, but I hope that this is this show will begin that conversation mm -hmm. yeah do you think that the show will end up being more healing that's this is why i think i know the show is going to be a hit because we all we're still scarred by those yeah. times presently and yes. everybody is affected so i feel like a show where you can sort of get a chance to go back and see what could we have done differently or just yeah. understand the other's plight better mm -hmm. do you think this show will be a unifier for today's society i definitely think it will be a hit because everybody is so invested at this day and age yeah. in these issues but do you think it will serve to teach unify what, what, what effect do you think it will have on its audience i, I hope, hope it does. that it will i yeah. hope that there is a call to action in this piece yeah in completing this series and going through this with dana i hope that audiences um, are able to step in mm -hmm. that there's an entry point uh, through kindred that's different than yeah. shows of 
that are similar to it in the way that the viewer and the, the audience really gets to ask themselves with all of our knowledge, our wisdom and our resources of modern day, what would we do? Yeah. Would it be different? Mm -hmm. And to really be able to empathize, not just with Dana, but with every mm -hmm. single person, because we all make completely different decisions yeah. in this story yeah. With, yeah. With, with with what how we're trying to reach our goals. We yeah. all, yeah. you know, do very different things and they all have value and dignity to them. Absolutely. Yeah. And what's brilliant about, you know, this story and how Octavia did it and how it comes through so brilliantly on film is how I think the fact that the two main characters, you know, Dana's character, I mean, um, um, Mallory's character and Micah's character, they are an interracial couple yes. living in present day. Yes. So, you know, that whole dynamic of going back to that ugly past and then coming back into the present mm -hmm. and then just trying to reconcile the two, yep. I think that's the brilliance of this whole thing because it forces the audience to experience that and then related to the present it and does. that's why I think the, you have the amazing thing too is that through Micah's character Kevin yeah. mm -hmm. yep white people have to he has to accept yes. his role yes. that he plays it's yes. so brilliant yes. of Octavia Butler to make him step back and he has to immediately yeah. accept I, yeah I was talking I, mean? I was like I think if it was me I, you know, I'm married interracially. If I went back into the past, I would come back resenting my husband. I'd be looking at him like, mm. okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yes. <laughs> so much of a, so yeah. that is just so brilliant. Now, last question before I go, because I know we have to wrap up. And I, oh my God, if only I could talk to you guys all day. But <laughs> I've been asking everybody this question. If you could pick a time period to go back to, especially, you know, now that you've already been to one, mm -hmm. what time period would you pick? I mean, I like the seventies. Yeah, okay, I'm a, I'm a okay. I like a 70s. little bell bottom, a little yeah, afro and Ryan, funk yeah. action. I like to experience life with a fro for once. Come on. All right, uh, you know, and then I'm trying you know to say, fit to you. Yeah. 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 Just for a little bit. Yeah, just for a little bit. That'd be cool. Okay, and what about you? It's hard. I don't really want to go back to right. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm like, what happened before 1619? Is there right. any way for me to right, get? Right. I mean, you know? I mean. The there, there is, there is a part of me. Sometimes it's like, what was it like? Yeah. In Western Africa, in yes, right. twelve eleven. Yep. I'll that's tell you what it was right. like. It was your world. The rest of us were living in it. You yeah. know, yeah. like <laughs> it was absolute patriarchy, but it was still peace and harmony and uh, lots of kind. Mean, of you course, know, of I course, of course. Um, so interestingly, I asked Ma Mallory, and she's so cute. She's like, you know, I would love to go back to the nineties. <laughs> Oh my goodness! And you know, I'm an I'm an eighties baby, nineties kid. Yeah. I know we all are. Me too. Yes, so like, yes, yes. Wow. We're getting old. People no. are she going... didn't. Yeah, she didn't experience the nineties. No, she didn't fully because she's, she's so like, young. Oh my god! She was like, she, I'm like, never again. Right. Never again. She was born in ninety eight. That's so cute. Like, oh I my think god. I got these hoops in ninety eight. Right? Like, what's happening? <laughs> right? Like, like, my leave my daughter alone. Like, you're like my ear is older than the lead yeah, of this right. show. It's okay. absolutely adorable, but also like I feel like we eighties um, and nineties kids we tend to not realize that we're aging and like, you know, until you have someone who is in their 20s exactly. and did yes. not live through the 90s. You're like, oh, yeah. okay, yeah. we're really, we're getting old. Yes. But listen, you guys, this show is brilliant. Thank you. And I'm so Thank proud you. of the work that you guys have done just as a black person, but as a, as a human being, as an American, I think this is one of the most powerful stories I've ever seen told. Thank and I think much. that you guys, you're, just, you're gonna light this industry on fire, <laughs> and I'm just so here for it. Congratulations! Thank you so, Thank you so much. much. And I can't wait to see how this goes. Thank, Thank you. you. What Your episode words. are you on? I am on episode two. I okay. only got them yesterday. Okay. So actually, very late last night. Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm Ooh. running out of here and wow. like. You're like, going right back. Like, I gotta go nice back to home meet you. Yeah, yeah. Right? Let me go. Ah, I gotta go back to watch your show. Oh, that's yeah, so it's brilliant. I can't. I, like, I can't stop thinking about it. It's gonna be amazing. Thank you guys so much Thank for speaking so to much. Sheen. Thank you. We wish you all the best and Thank just you. bravo. Thank you Thank so much. You. Thank you. Great meeting you. you.